Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a video about stringing and how you can go from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. So stringing is a really big problem in FDM 3D printing. It's basically where you get strands of filament between parts in your print that aren't supposed to be connected. So they basically look like they're connected by strings. This can be an issue because it can actually pull the print during the print process, so the nozzle can actually catch some filament and then it can just make the whole print either come loose from the bed or break parts off and it's really not ideal. So you need to make sure that when you're printing you have your slicer settings nailed down so that you have absolutely no stringing and end up with perfectly clean models like this one. Okay, so here's the stringing test that I'm going to be using today. It's by a guy called Mike Von Mars. Um, it's on Thingiverse, so I'll leave a link down to that below. And what you want to do is throw this into your slicer, and then you want to go down to your material settings. This is where your retraction option will be. If it's not there, then just go to the settings, um, search for retraction. You can see you just need to enable these two settings here. So once you have that enabled, uh, these are the settings I use to show how bad stringing can be in the in that first model um, and with retraction enabled these are the settings I use to 5 mil retraction distance um, and the speed that it will retract out will be the same as the print speed so what I would recommend is always making sure that your retraction is enabled if you are printing with rigid filaments such as PLA, ABS um, uh, you know PLA plus all the sort of variants of those if you're using flexible filament I strongly advise that you disable retraction because I believe this can just result in backlogs and clogs and all sorts of mess around the stepper motor of your extruder so if you print it with rigid filaments have your retraction enabled and you should be good to go so another important thing when it comes to stringing is making sure that you've got your filament's temperature set properly. You want to make the, the reason that you want to make sure that this is set to the best that it can be for the particular filament is because if you have the nozzle too hot for this filament, it's basically going to ooze excess filament out of the nozzle when it's not printing and ensuring that you have that ideal temperature set uh, can really help reduce that. So if you're finding that you're actually having a lot of stringing, I'd recommend that you increase the retraction distance. Um, do this maybe five mil at a time. You don't want to overdo it because if you retract it too much, then it's going to cause issues when the filament's going back out the nozzle. So just slowly increment it until you see that your strings are considerably reduced. So if you've changed your slicer settings and you're still experiencing stringing, maybe just some little wisps, it's actually not that difficult to post-process the model uh, physically. You can just cut off the excess and then uh, use a heat gun to melt away the wisps. I haven't personally tried this, but I know through many people that it is a great way and a quick way to sort any remaining filament wisps that you have on your prints. So that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope this video helps a lot of people. Uh, if you liked it and enjoyed it and it helped, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Cheers.